traveled. And knowing women who made a difference. A Quilla Kids gift to our community. The fight to do what's right. Anne Quillis as portrayed by Heather. There is food on my table, friends who I cherished, and of course, my loving family who have always pushed me to do my best. I had never gotten into trouble, or not at least enough to write a police report, so I've been pretty fortunate in my life. It was unbelievably shocking when my best friend had told me that her husband had almost killed her from repetitive physical abuse. I went ballistic. I dashed up the stairs and just stared at the wall, and just thought about the problems some people had to deal with and how lucky I was to have my biggest worry, deciding what career to choose. College was over and I knew how to do something in my life that would make a difference. My life had changed dramatically since the misfortune my friend had been dragged through. I guess you never really think that abuse will happen to you or just someone you care for until it happens. During my college classes, I would always probe for answers about things like what is wrong with the people that are so hostile that drives them to be violent to innocent people, and how will they be rightfully punished. I never really found out what I wanted to know. Finally, I had earned my master's degree and I went to go work at a woman's shelter, even though I could make much more money working somewhere else. The shelter was an extremely pleasant and rewarding experience. A while had passed and I knew that domestic violence was my calling in life. It was my way of honoring my friend for leading me in the right path. But it was time to leave the shelter I cared and learned so much from. I was determined to move to this program that started about two years before. The program was called Domestic Violence Intervention Program. I felt like if I was going to make a difference in my community, this program would be it, the answer to my prayers. I had worked at the DVIP for a while, and I was promoted to executive director. How exhilarating. Now I can help even more people. I believe that my burning questions were answered by my friend, and I could finally rest at night. Money has been tight, but no matter what, I have always tried to move forward and not dwell on things I cannot change. I have been involved with many things having to do with domestic violence, but working for the Domestic Violence Intervention Program has been my greatest triumph. I am convinced that I haven't done anything that great to be honored in such high regards. I just have done what I love to do. My thought is that it's not about me and being rewarded for my accomplishments. It's about finding something that I love doing that can make a difference in someone's life. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.